Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about why all acoustic foams are not created equal. You see a lot of acoustic foams on the marketplace. You see a lot of foams uh, by acoustic manufacturers. Um, foam is a relatively cheap, economical way to achieve absorption. Uh, there, of course, there are other methods uh, out there, but in terms of ease of use and installation and positioning and manufacturing and, and cost, it's a pretty economical absorption technology to uh, look at. But let's look today at why all acoustic foams are not created equal, because they're not. And, and you'll get a handle, I think, on, on one or two of the major differences here. So we have two kinds of foams uh, that you're all familiar with, open cell versus closed cell. Open cell foam is what we use uh, in acoustics. It allows for uh, air movement uh, through the uh, fiber or through the cell structure of the foam. Closed cell, we're all familiar with too. These are the cushions in your couch, your car seats. It's a more dense foam, uh, not really designed for middle and high frequency absorption. Although we, we have done some tests with it for low frequency absorption and it has some possibilities. So open versus closed cell, those are the two main kinds of foam that you'll see. Um, obviously, open cell is what we use for acoustics and sound absorption because it allows for the air movement to go through the structure of the foam, cause friction, which causes heat, and then we have an energy change. So thus we have absorption occurring. So what's important here with open cell foam? Two areas, the cell structure and the cell density. How many cells per square inch do we have and what is their structure? The more uniform the structure, the smoother the absorption curve. The more uniform the density, the smoother the absorption curve. And this is why we went after this particular area because we were never happy with the absorption curves of the foams that are in the marketplace uh, back when we did our research and development. And even today it holds true, although they are getting a little better. So cell structure and cell density are critical to achieving some kind of smooth performance. And smooth performance is what we want from our sound absorbing devices. We don't necessarily want to absorb 100% of everything, convert it all to heat and cause 100% absorption because we wanna have some of the energy to work with. Managing is the key. Reducing to a certain point and then adding diffusion to spread that uh, more a cleaner, uh, if you will, uh, less reverberant signal out into the room. So cell structure and cell density. What are the areas that we need to focus on? Well, the break point for acoustic foams is 500 cycles. From 500 cycles on up with a two inch foam, it's real easy to achieve 100%. That's no real great uh, feat in terms of uh, design. However, it's the less than 500 cycles that's really critical because that's where the male and female vocal ranges really come alive. That 125, 200 to 800 range for vocals, 300 to 800 really where vocals come alive, both male and female. So you have to be very, very careful with that particular frequency response range. So we, we, we look at it, you know, as a more gradual kind of situation, not, not 100% and, and working out. A little bit gradual approach to uh, the absorption. So it's really below 500 cycles that uh, a foam needs to concentrate on its performance rates and levels. That's where our vocals are the most critical and that's why all acoustic foams are not created equal. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give me a thumbs up so I know that it had value to you. And please, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section and I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. Alternatively, if there are other topics that you wish to discuss, discuss or see discussed in a video presentation, send me a, an email, info at acousticfields.com and uh, we'll get them on our list and, and get them done for you. I release a new uh, video about every week, so stay tuned to our YouTube channel and keep uh, updated on our new videos.